say we have a task that can start immediately, task seven. Let's start task seven immediately, right away. So task seven starts at day zero, and we'll have seven to 10, we'll have a slack, 135 days, meaning this task can delay their starting period or start day by 125 days. Let's say I want this task to follow task seven. So task six will follow task seven. So task six follows task seven, but because there's no dependency, task six can slack to 187 days, 187.5 days. Suppose I will add a dependency to task six. So uh, task five, will follow task six. Now task six moves to the left because task five depends on it. Let's say I would like to, there is already 250, we have two critical paths. It is path from one to four, and the other is one from seven to 10. Suppose I'll improve one of this like I will have three men for task two. Now that the critical path is seven to, this is seven to 10. That's the, the critical path because there's a zero slack. Uh, let's refresh to, to make sure. And we refresh this part also to make sure. So this is this is our critical path that is from seven to ten. I want to improve task seven. I will add two men. I'll have two men and two shifts. So this will be our critical path now. Let's see our critical path will be, that is this portion from one, task one to four. Let's, let's say we'll pre, I'll shorten task three, two men, working two shifts. And then we'll refresh, find out what is the critical path, or also known as baseline. So the critical path is this, from seven to 10. I'll have Two shifts here, uh, two men, two shifts, two men, and two shifts working. Then we'll drag this downwards. And drag this downwards. This time the critical path is from one to four because of the slack, zero slack. This completes part seven of the PERT CPM grant chart showing slack and the late start timeline.